Hello everybody. Today we are going to take a look at DeepSeek and test how well the AI can generate and explain ABAP code. We start with simple questions and test the generated output on an ABAP test system. So we open DeepSeek.com and we log in to this AI. I use my Google account for this. And here we are. Now we can ask some questions. My first question is create a Hello World program in ABAP. So let's check the code. Okay, pretty simple. It's only a write Hello World. I think we don't have to test this. Looks right. So now I want to use classes for my Hello World. Okay, we see the definition, implementation, and so on, and the explanation of the code looks good. So here I'm in Eclipse on my ABAP test system. It's an ABAP developer cloud, and we see the code works. Okay. So the next question is, I want to do a join. I want to join the table S flight and S carrier to show the whole name of the carrier name. So for example, LH should be Lufthansa. And I want to display the carrier name for every record in the table S flight. Okay, so we see a join here. Okay, so we copy this code and go back to Eclipse. Okay, we have to copy the type definition above the definition of the internal table LT result. And here is a host sign, an escape sign missing, the add. Okay, so no more errors. We can activate the code and we run the code. Okay, we see the result, the carrier abbreviation AA and here the name American Airlines. So the join is okay and we have the right data. Okay. The next question I want to ask is how to remove leading zeros in a variable. There are different ways to do this. Okay, first the condense statement, second the shift. Okay, oh, okay, the stop was a little bit too early. Okay, here the condense, I think. That will not work because the zero in the string is also a sign. But let's check it. Okay, we activate and run the code. Okay, we see the zeros are here, so this code is not working. The shift code looks more, right? Yes, we see the shift is working. But I do it like this i use this statement here to remove uh, leading zeros yes so that works again okay so the next question is uh, i want to know how to export the data from the table s flight into an excel in abab Okay, he shows me the class GUI front end services. Next, the SARF table. So let's check this code first.
okay we have some errors here path name is not working it's not possible in this position okay the inline declaration is not possible okay so i do not want to fix this code i want to check the next generated code okay and we see the method is unknown or protected or private so this code is also not working okay the interesting thing here is i asked this question a couple of minutes before and there i got a uh, a working um, result so let's ask let's tell DeepSeek that the last uh, generation was wrong and he tells us that the method is not working so a new code is generated now so let's check this code Okay, we scroll down. Okay, again, the problem with the inline declaration here. So this code is not working. Okay, as I said before, I asked this question a couple of minutes ago and this was the generated output. This code, and the interesting thing is this code is working. So I don't know why the why DeepSeek is not showing me this uh, solution again. Mm. We see here the export is excellent. Here the records of the table as flight. Okay. So next, couple of knowledge questions. For example, in which table in SAP are the passwords stored? It's the table USR02. And the explanation of the table of the columns and so on. Yes, that's right. Next question I want to ask. I want to get the email address of an SAP user. And I want to know if there is an, any class or method the way level to get this information. Okay, the table ADR6 is right. In this table are the email address stored. Next, it's a puppy call, puppy user get detail. Sounds good. And this is a yeah, select of two tables. So let's check the first code. It's a select from the table USR21 and RDR6. So my use on the test system is developer. Okay, it says that no email address is found. So let's check if there is an email address stored to this user. Yes, we have an email address. So this code is not working. Mm. Yes, so let's the, check the next code. But because the tables are right, USR21 and ADR6 are the right tables. Yeah, so this is the Bobby call. Let's check it, developer. Yes, we see we have a result, the right email to this user. And the last generated code is again a select from USR21 and RDRP. So we have here an error. It's, there is no component. 
but I think we have to change the table here to RDR6 because this is my table where the email address is stored. Okay, so we change this here again. Let's activate and test this code. Again, username developer. Yes, we have a result, the email address of the user. So there are two selects. It works, but we can do a join as well here. Yeah, I really like DeepSeek and it is definitely a new player in the AI sector. The continuous data updates, the high token capacity and above all the open source approach are also great. However, DeepSeek also raises critical questions especially in the areas of data protection and security. But everyone has to decide that for themselves. In any case, it is worth keeping an eye on the developments surrounding DeepSeek. The AI landscape is changing rapidly and this model from China could establish itself as a serious alternative to the big players. Yes, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments I am always happy to read them. Take care and see you in the next video.